but no more. I gotta purge you out of my core. Then, repair the skin you tore. I endured OD number three. And I'll see I can't endure number four. That's why I'm still seeking therapy. Cause you still have a way with me. My words, they twist and turn. So when I write, I finally tend to serve you. Every dawn, I still sing you. Every night, that's where I still dream you. Never ending scenes with the same old theme of you and me. Of me and you. Of you and me. Junkie. What's up, baby? You guys doing all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. All right. Um, doing something, I guess. I, like I said, I had a list, but things changed, so we're just going to have Oh, that's a cool feeling. So, I'm going to do a piece called Insomnia. Um, different type of love. <laughs> um, lonely was my only company. And now thoughts of you fill my psyche. How could this be? How have you done to me? I put the blame all on you, so please tell me what to do because I can't sleep. This melancholic desire for you runs deep and images of you seek into uncommissioned realms of my mind. I go there searching and all I find is the one thing that binds you, the anchor of my purest thoughts. It's this abandoned reality. This thing for you I can't explain. It's got me chained by the disarming pain that's led me to believe I'm going insane. Restless and tossing, I realize only you can make me compromise my way pride. But before I wake from this sleepless dream, I ask for one wish, a kiss. The kind that will send me into carnal bliss that I pray you will open my gate, be the one to penetrate my darkest dominion and dissipate any lingering confusion as to whether or not you truly are the one. And the act I'm caught, hands up, clasped behind my neck, I'm a wreck. Silent I remain as I sought the right words and afraid that they could and would be used against me. I found asleep. That's that piece. <laughs> Tomorrow's perfect hair, cold coffee, and warm water. Legs propped up over the side of an overstuffed chair. I should be asleep. But in the fogginess of late night, early morning, when thunder and lightning screaming their warning, I feel the need to express what I keep so close to my chest behind this bulletproof vest of quips and jokes and funny little anecdotes. I'm lost. I feel late for an appointment I don't remember scheduling. My dream job just got filled, but I don't know what it is. The love of my life has just appeared with a glass slipper, and it doesn't fit. Little children with no faces aim their running hugs at my legs and end up embracing thin air. And somewhere, unbeknownst to me, someone else is stepping into my destiny. I seem to have misplaced myself, and I don't know where to send the search party. I turn my thoughts to the workplace, or lack thereof. 
And that does little to erase my general feeling of soggy malaise. I contemplate a different trade. But every place I've been, it's always the same. I get tired of having to plead my case, of having to remind them that I have a BA from one of the top schools in the state. Painstakingly aware that I have the darkest face, and unless I lessen my drive and ambition, and coward is some unseen submission, I seem to have the darkest fate. I'm still lost. I think about my man who I've yet to find and begin to wonder when it's going to be my time. My friends are marrying, babying at a Disney pace. Always a bridesmaid. You know the phrase. <laughs> <laughs> a part of me resents the obviousness of their love, the easiness of their expression, but the other part of me is in utter awe. Two paths converging in the same direction. Joined by law, tethered by emotion, real and raw. I thought that's what I wanted or what I needed. Thought I needed that us to complete me. Or needed, I'm sorry, or required in us to define me. Couldn't even imagine a life not being a wife. Not having my own family. Especially by the age of 29. Okay, I had three. I've mistakenly trapped myself in my own fantasy and now I sometimes can't stop the queasiness at the thought of relinquishing my space and opening my heart. That's the hard part, I admit. Having so much love to give, being ready to commit, but holding it in, terrified it's going to be stepped on and broken. For now, I'm going to give back my number to this race because no matter how strong I start, I still end up in last place. And I still can't find. See, I'm looking for that place where the panic has ceased, where worry is eased, and every single moment doesn't feel like a shady short-term lease. And somewhere, tucked behind logic, Hiding in the creases of biologics, I know that I'll find my increase. But I'm still exhausted and still drenched from the ongoing tempest. And I'm desperately needing tranquility and rest. But my reason doesn't want to conceive it, that I'm the one soul that must believe and retrieve it. The peace that I so urgently seek. My sky. It still weeps. Only a misty dream alerts me that I'm asleep. I'm lost. I'm drifting off, I'm floating, trying to hit solid ground, woozy from the daily runaround, knowing I can't be found until after the rain slows down and I decide to reclaim my crown. For an irreparably damaged tomorrow, eagle spread thighs, further apart still, to successfully guide him inside to smother her will, and have you seen her cry? <clears throat> Neither have I. She prefers to joke about being broke and keeps thinking this life is the only way, making lame excuses for him, needing a quick lay. Open wallets and insipid moans for a penile validation not received at home. Quiet acquiescence, I squint it. She often reminisces of a love once hinted, but never acquired. Sex tired, hardwired for failure. A little tipsy, I'm gone. She allows nothing pure to verify her spirit, because wanton acts of monetary gain have already killed it. And Zawana, ding. <laughs> the day she'll overstand, zip up her legs and travel to safer land. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 